Hello, hello. Quick little update from Mysterious Space. I, I don't really have like a, a huge number of things to show off. Uh, there's been like a deadline coming up at work, and that's taken a little bit of extra time. And there was a, a couple, I don't know, like hanging outs with people, more people than than as usual. So that took up a little time. Um, so I, I don't have quite as many like super showy things. But there's some little bug fixes and some little tweaks. Uh, and you know, let's let's talk about on the on the home. Sorry, the title screen here. I was gonna say home page. Too used to making web games. Um, so I've got, I've been working on a couple of language options, uh, and I think I mentioned before, or maybe just online. You know, I took like two years of high of high school French. High school was quite a while ago. I don't remember much French. I know even less German. Like I like the movie Run Lola Run, but <laughs> yeah, that's about the extent of my my exposure to German and board games. I guess lots of German board games, but the rules are in English. Anyway, so so I don't really know these languages. Uh, so if anyone is willing to help, that would be fantastic. And because I'd like people to just give more feedback in general, I really want. I, I would love to hear from people. You know, do you like this game? If so, why? Do you do you not like it? If so, why? Do you have ideas? Do you do you just have things to say? I would love to hear. So I've put a link. If you select this, it will open up uh, a browser window and point you at the um, forums here. Uh, so please do take a look. Um, anyway, let me show off just what little thing there is, and then I will go back. So this is, I think that's a desert world. And also, sorry about the volume. Turn that down. Um, so I guess one little thing I could point out. Uh, you know, I showed this off to another friend who d who doesn't, or she hasn't played games in a, in a long time, uh, but she used to play, like she remembers you know, Mario 64 and things like that. So anyway, I, I watched her play and noted some things, and one of them was that she was just going like left and right, unsure where to go. Actually, she was just going right. Uh, so I added this little, that little blinking arrow to indicate, hey, maybe you should go down, uh, and then you can see the planet. So this is a desert world. It's not what I intended. Uh, it's a red desert world, which I probably didn't show off before. There's three very variations of desert. Uh, but you can see that the uh, sand texture here tiles, which uh, I kind of like. It's better than the than the thing before. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show off, there's a change log in the background real quick. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, if I can get it, it's a desert world, or sorry, a uh, forest world, because they have pretty grasses. And if I don't get one, I'm not going to keep doing this because you guys will see it tomorrow probably there's a desert world oh, sorry god what's i can't speak so anyway these have uh i, I really like the flowers and the grass um i don't know it, it was interesting to code the so the grass is a sprite but the flowers actually aren't uh, a flower decoration object just keeps track of x y coordinates to draw pixels on so uh there's no sprite involved and that means that there's an infinite variety of flowers as if anyone cares, but it was just a quick way to do it, and something I hadn't really done before. I would always do sprites, uh, and I just decided to do it this way, and it had a good effect, so I'm happy. And you can see the grass never goes too too uh, far below the surface. So, that's really about all I have to show off. Um, I did change, I guess, the point thing. It used to be always 800 points, now it's 500, but then after you take it at 600, then 700, then 8, 9, 10, 11, 100. Uh, so it increases every time you take it, so if you want to go the point route, go all in. Uh, but anyway, I'll stop rambling. I, there's really only a few more things. There's some bug fixes and, and little things like that. Uh, but I will try to get in a new enemy this weekend. I don't know what's going to be. I like I've now and again thought, hmm, what should the new, what should another enemy be? And that's as far as I've gotten. So I will sit down and, and flesh out an enemy, put it in the game, and then release with that. Uh, and I guess the only other thing to say. Well, I spent some time. Another reason I didn't get much on this week is I on the game is I spent some time. Uh, looking into other sound libraries to get music, um, and I messed around with N Audio. It doesn't matter. The point is, there was they were, they were all troublesome for one reason or another, and I was like, screw it, it's not worth it. I'm gonna make my own music, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a, I'm going to make my own tracker. If you're familiar with with trackers, uh, and there will be a music editor in the game when you enable debug mode. So that's gonna be kind of interesting, and then you can go in and edit music with a funny little tracker and some funny little instruments that I've pulled off the web from free. 8-bit samples. Uh, so that's going to be kind of a new thing, too. I've never done that before. I have made music before, but only like a couple songs, and I have no real music training either. Like, you know, I, I plinked things out on the piano I would uh, to recreate tunes I liked when I was little, but I mean, that's it. So, but but I, I don't know. I don't think my music's bad, so we'll see. You know, and, and again, maybe in the long run, I'll uh, 
find someone to make music and, and pay them and, and get a cool library uh, that actually works to, to play to play music. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I, I said I was going to stop rambling a long time ago, and I've just kept going. So, I'm out. Thank you again for watching. Please give me fee Please, please tell me what you think about the game. Uh, I would love to know. I'm making it for other people to play, and, and so please tell me what you think. Uh, and yes, thank you for watching and, and playing if you're playing, and good night. I need to go to bed. <laughs> it's probably part of why I'm saying crazy things.